Leviathan oil. They hunt the great beasts for this precious fluid. It's used as illuminant and for lubrication. The rope's soaked through with oil. It should work as a burning fuse now. What can I get you, my good man? I'm not here to drink, and I have no use for alcohol. It clouds the mind, confuses the heart, and taints the soul. Goddess knows I'm not a drinking man. What does one order to blend properly in with the patrons of this filthy hive? I have little faith in the quality of the water in this place, but I can at least hold a cup and pretend to be drinking stronger stuff. I'll take a cup of water. Water? Why would you want to order that foul stuff? I'm afraid we serve no water here, da. Fish fucking that, you know. Here's your merry minstrel. Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes. Your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. I should be getting home. Just one more. One more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started. And then I'll head home. Ah, finally. There you are. Sit. Please. I saved your seat. Sit down. Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the Resistance, and I'm not Azadi. If you're not with the Resistance and you're not Azadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me, and I can either make your life easier, or a lot worse. Who in Shadow's name is this woman? She claims to be my friend, and then she threatens me. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. This woman is not looking. Who oh, in shadow? I will have your name. You will have my name. So forceful. So like a caged animal. You're a popular man, Kian Alvane. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll even the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends, and enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me, Anna? I like the emphasis. You're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How I did you- I just wanted a chance to introduce myself, and now I have, so it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. 
If not, old Vic can pass a message. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you, friend. Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight. Unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvani. angry, but a good man to have by your side in a dangerous situation. The witch and the vicar had six shots of liquor and presently went for a walk. Come on, said who the was that? A man has what? his who? urges, Where? but the witch only wanted that woman. to talk. Who was she? A mystery woman, huh? I don't know. I'm not a guy. I don't go looking at every woman who passes by. Liko? Uh-huh. Did you see a mystery woman? No. God, you need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But Azadi drink here. Ulva keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. Visibly. You have passes? Sure do, but it's- We shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah, that. Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do? No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Yet. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs? No? Yeah, me neither. Okay, we really need to go. Come on. So what did your mystery woman look like? She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. Of course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a, a type. Really? A guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. I'm not a... God. I've not had much time for, for women in my life. Leapers, are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous! But how did that come out of my mouth? Leaping leapfurs? Nope, just nope. You do like women though, right? Shadow take me. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know. In fact, I could have That's set you up enough, with- That's quite enough, Eno. I don't know, this just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and blah! It's really disturbing. What are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind in our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. Dancing. Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Alvani. You may be of some use to us. For a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Debt? Never you mind, Zidling. 
This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling? Really? Really? You know I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age and I've already been with several that men- That thing again, Zidling. <laughs> Thanks. Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. Keep moving. We don't know how many of them there are. Thanks for catching that arrow, Liko. It was just pure reflex, Azadi. Oh, that's Poppycock. He is warming up to you, Kian. <sighs> Thank the gods of old our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine. I'll go first. I laughed. On the inside. You would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Lego. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. Oh, and Liko saved Kian's life. He could have let the arrow hit him, but he didn't. Progress. Madam's reflexes. I did not intend to save the Azadi. Any news of the informer? Alvani did. We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. That won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. The first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course she won't travel alone. Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards, or handmaidens, or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hami, alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money, or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate. Sister and a soldier? That's a capital crime. Well, that, with Saya ruling the church, and Vamon, the state here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming. 
and you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from... Naane! Finally. What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard, the rebuilding progresses and... Alvane, you are on your feet again. Traitor! What's that witch doing here? They must not know who she is and what she's done. If I tell them now she's dead, I must confront her in private. The traitor! She betrayed the resistance to save herself. The traitor! Rebuilding... Uh, apologies, Shepard. I'm tired from my travels. I would like to retire to my quarters. Of course. Let's speak tomorrow. That goes for all of us. The hour is late. We will reconvene after breakfast. You knew they were coming. The General and the Mother. That's why you sent Captain Bakim to Friar's Keep. That's why you freed me. Kian. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. And now, you're a rebel. I knew they were coming, Utana and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardia that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity, and we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Many have forgotten about the Magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the Resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future. Lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people. Make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool. And you are a symbol. Our secret weapon, the key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day, and there's still much I need to do. We can continue our conversation another day. Sorry, I had no choice. They forced me. They... Who did? They threatened me and my family and my livelihood. That still doesn't explain why. I've been expecting you. Why did you protect me in there? Why not tell them what I did? I only had a moment to decide. It was her. I have no intention of protecting her secret. I only had a moment to decide. That's not. It was her portal that helped me escape the keep. She healed my wounds. She knew I might expose her, and yet. Yet she saved my life. I called her a traitor. But are we so different? I have no intention of protecting her secrets. But her selfless actions granted me a second chance. At the very least, it was her portal that helped me. Why did you save me? Because you were sick. Because you needed me. 
Because without my help, you would have died. Knowing I might tell everyone what you did. That made no difference. The Resistance needs you. So I did my part. You're still a traitor. I did betray the Resistance. But before you decide what to do with me, will you hear me out? Every speak. When I gave you the location of our base and betrayed April, I thought I was sacrificing one person to save everyone else. But many died because of my actions. This has haunted me. I have questioned my motives. Did I sell her out to save the shipment of food and medicines? Without it, many would have suffered. The old, the sickly, the children. Or did I betray the Resistance to save my own skin? I would have been executed by the Azadi. I truly don't know. Perhaps it was a little of both. Perhaps things are not so black and white. We can never truly know the consequences of our actions. If you keep my secret, I can continue to help. I am of real value to the Resistance, despite my crimes. Turn me in, and more will suffer. But justice, for what it's worth, will be served. It's your choice to make, Alvane, not mine. What is your decision? What will you do with me? She's important to the Resistance. Without her, they will be even weaker. I'm a However she chooses to justify her betrayal, regard she's in I'll be watching you. I promise you won't regret your decision. I will live to repent my sins and serve the Resistance. I'm in your debt, Alvane. Always and forever. You saved my life, but I may still call on you one day to do something for me. I'll be ready. The first is on her way. Has she mentioned him? I don't think so. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Utana, it means nothing. The General was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be involved. We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the Resistance. Mistress, your presence here honors us. Sister Sire, this is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Mercuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Quite. The seat wants to know how the mission goes, how the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the Goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships. General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Yes, what of the Apostle? It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, Mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the First Mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, Mother, Alvane was a traitor. He betrayed the cause and he- May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? And may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Now that he's no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed during a riot. They burned his body, hopefully after he bled out. 
Uh, we weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, and interview the guards and prisoners. Certainly. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. Don't bother, Vamon. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. As you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the Prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. Have you not spoken with him? Not for many months. But he will be here when our goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother. My lady. Vam, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened at the keep. Hello? You were there. Ixul Panax Brekal. We met. <laughs> 